Hey guys, Greg here, coming to you with another episode of Greg's Bonsai. Today we're going to be looking at an old friend, the Oriental Bittersweet. Uh, this is my first one of two that I have. And uh, the last time we saw this was back in October, back before uh, we put it in the shed for the winter. And it had a full head of hair on it. And now it's just starting to bud out. Uh, our buds are, are all opening up and we're starting to actually see some growth. If you would believe it, it's only been like less than a week. I think it's only been a few days really since these buds have opened up and we already have this crazy growth already starting here. And this is in the span of a couple days. Um, we have hit, uh, around 70 degrees for the past couple of days here. I'm in zone 7B. I think the last video I did on this, I misstated and said I was in zone 4B. And that was just me probably just messing up some numbers. We were in 6B, um, but uh, we did get recategorized up to 7B uh, this past year by the FDA. Is, yeah, FDA. Anyway, um, so... The nice thing about this, since we're just budding and opening up, you can kind of see the structure a little bit easier than if we had a full set of leaves. And don't mind, you may see a little bit of cobwebbing here. Again, this has been outside. I tried to take the cobwebs off of this because spiders are starting to uh, really get attracted. And the silk from these spiders is very impressive, very strong, very sticky. So I uh, tried my best. So if we see some stuff kind of just floating around, that's all right. That's what it is. I didn't do a whole lot of trimming. I know in my last video, I think I've said, oh, I'm going to trim this thing up. And I just kind of let it sit there and start budding up. And uh, I think once once we see some growth come out and we get a little bit more energy in this bush tree uh, hybrid thing here, we're going to start cutting back a little bit. And really, we're going to start down here at the bottom. All right. Thickening up here down on the trunk of this, it, we see some green coming through here, which is great. That means we got some great life down here and this is this trunk is just gonna start expanding. And we just got that token V here with this little guy. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Uh, this little guy just kind of budding out here. I was originally gonna cut this out, but I wanna see what happens uh, this season. Again, this guy is about one year old. I uh, found this guy growing out in my front garden, in the front flower bed, and I said, I need to see what these guys actually are. So I let them grow. And I have initially last year cut up here because these were getting pretty tall. So I wanted to cut them back and see what was going to happen. And uh, we, we can kind of see that there is some growth coming out up here like I did show. But uh, filling out pretty nicely. All right. Don't have a whole lot of budding down here. Not sure if that's going to happen or not. Regardless, eventually, and I hate to tell this to you, uh, little guy, but... We're going to have to do something down here because these branches are just so close. Looks almost like they're going to intertwine. I could do like a little like braid, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, so I think eventually one of these is going to have to go. And I'm going to have to make that difficult decision sooner rather than later. Just so that we don't have these two fighting for each other. And eventually this whole side is probably going to come down as well. I'm almost thinking... Since this guy's budding out here, I may just cut this out here and let this grow. We'll see how that goes. I may just end up cutting, say, this guy here. I I'm not exactly sure. Let me know what you guys think. I, I'm I have some time to think on this one. It's going to grow, but I, I have a feeling it's going to grow up and not out. So I need to start stunting that eventually. Uh, so we'll see. It'll probably just be like I'll, I'll trim down. I'm not sure. I, I'm i trying to get the vision on these guys. It's great that this started down here like this. And I really, that is so adorable. That little, like it's got its little bend and everything in there. I mean, come on. And you can see a little bit of cobweb sitting there as well. But uh, I think that's adorable. I really do. So this is my uh, bittersweet A, like I said. Uh, Thickening up, really nice to see that. Don't really have a leader. I guess this would be the leader. But again, this, I'm going to be trimming that down. And it was kind of cool to see these guys um, coming out. And, and you can even see some some more growth kind of happening here. I just see like these nice little white dots. Let's see if I can see it on this guy. 
yeah, you can kind of see it right there, those little white dots. So that's gonna be new growth coming in as well. And yeah, this, this right here, this is kind of like what you're seeing as new buds open up. There's like a whole bunch of um, leaves in there. And then they eventually turn into something like this and it just sprouts out. And then eventually we see it come out like this and grow a whole new limb, a whole new branch. So we are gonna have some competing branching in here. Again, that's gonna have to get taken care of. Like I said, we're just gonna trim these down. It almost feels like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if I wanna get rid of this guy here, which might be the, the better bet since he does the crossover, this guy goes out and then I can end up just like trimming right here where this bud will hopefully push out. I'm just gonna see if anything grows there like what we have over here. And eventually, like I said, I will be trimming either this down since we do have this nice V, but it is a little taller than I'd like it to be. And uh, just let's see if, if that branches, especially since we have what could be a potential for a back bud here. Or we just get rid of one of them and, uh, and we just shorten it up. So I did fertilize these guys before the season started. So that's why we may see some potential here. These guys were in my shed all uh, winter long. So they definitely survived. They didn't go freezing. And, uh, and these guys stayed in the buds for so long. They were fighting it. And then finally that 70 degree weather came and they were just like, it is our time to shine. So between this and my other bittersweet, which I'll show off very soon on the channel, uh, a lot of green coming in and a lot of green budding on pretty much all of my trees now, which is great. Uh, hope to showcase the rest of them as they're budding because I think that's the best awesome time to kind of show off these guys. Just so you can kind of see like in this form, with the leaves not really in full yet, just being able to see the structure. And, uh, you know, even in winter, I, I thought about doing that, but it's kind of dull just seeing, you know, a stick in the ground. Uh, at least this, you get to see some life and some vibrancy come in. So let me know what you think down below. If you really liked what you saw, please make sure to hit that like button on this video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, get, gets my videos out there, um, you know, Growing in subscribers, I hope a lot more of you guys like these Oriental Bittersweets. Uh, they're interesting plants. Uh, I don't see any flowers or berries on these yet. Probably won't for another couple of years, I'm thinking. Watch this thing says, ha ha, Greg, here are some flowers. But uh, pretty basic right now. And it's kind of cool to see them in year number two as they mature and have a little bit more life on them than what they did before. Because, you know, each year I, I hope to see them thrive a little bit more and more. So let me know what you think down below about this guy. Would love to hear if anybody's growing them. Uh, I think they're kind of invasive. I have to double check that. I, I may, I don't want to say too much about it because I, I, I haven't researched uh, as much as I wanted to. But yeah, let me know if you have any of these. If, uh, if you have any opinions on where you think I should be cutting or where you would cut, I would love to hear that. Um, because I want to see these guys thrive. I mean, they will because these guys, I think I could throw these out in my yard and they would just get into the ground and they would survive. Um, but uh, just let me know what you think. All right. And if you really, really did enjoy this video and you aren't yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Love chatting with my viewers. Love to uh, see what you guys are growing. I've ha I have a couple guys out there um, that I've been chatting with. You know, learning about what they, uh, what you guys are planting and what you guys are growing. Right now I am planting a few more trees. I got a couple apples. I got some blue spruce kind of going out there. But uh, yeah, so this is my Oriana Bittersweet. One of two that I have. And I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time. The last, Like I said, the last time I, I did this was October. So this is like, what, a six month. So this is this is six months of, uh, of downtime on this guy since you've last seen him. But uh, like I said, this is Greg, Greg Bonsai. This is my Oreo and Bear Sweet. Make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you guys next time. Take care.